Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm here once again to do another wig review. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the wig that I'm wearing right now. I been looking around for quite some times actually. I've been looking around for an afro wig because as you all know I'm going natural, I'm still in transitioning so it's a little bit hard for me to um, actually find afro wigs or wigs that I can actually blend my own hair with and um, I tried the whole lace, the whole full lace wig for a while. I like it but I noticed that a little bit like the over usage of the glue on my edges on my perimeter area my edges was actually coming you know it was coming out not not that much to where I don't have any edges or anything but to where I felt like if I kept doing this over and over again it will end up being a problem so I decided to give that a break and trying to find wigs or hair extensions or anything that mimics more of the direction that I was going with my hair. So, with that said, I looked on a few websites. I went on, um, finally I found, I found a few afro wigs, but a lot of them didn't look like someone that's natural wearing an afro wig. It more looked like a person that's um, going to a 70s party and those huge afros I wasn't really into that wasn't really feeling it until I ran into this website called houseofbeauty.com and I found this afro wig that I'm wearing it's by Modu and it's just called afro and the size that I have on my head is medium because it comes on it comes in three different sizes it comes in medium I'm sorry it comes in jumbo medium and small so I decided to go with the medium because the jumbo size was really big. Now, I already ordered this wig, but the one that I'm wearing I actually got from my local beauty supply store. That's how I know that the jumbo size is too big for me. So I went into my beauty supply store to get some rubber bands because I had washed my hair and I was going to wash my hair. I need some rubber bands now to put at my ends so they could actually stay braided. So as I was walking around, I saw this afro wig. It was by Modu, like I found on the website, and it was um, a jumbo size afro. Well, when I put it on, it was this huge, I mean, it was too big. It was just too big. I, I mean, personally, I didn't like it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe as I get used to the smaller one, and maybe when my real hair grows, if my real hair is that big, maybe I will be used to it. But to me, it looked wiggy because it was so big. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm not expecting for my hair to already be this big. I have no idea why, but I really personally didn't like it. So I asked the woman, did she have anything small? She said, well, yes, we have in the same collection. We have a medium size. And... I tried the medium, which is the one I'm wearing, and it fit perfect. I loved it. I purchased it. It was $19.99. On HouseOfBeauty.com, they actually also have mediums, and they are also $19.99. And the one that I'm wearing now is a size, I mean, I'm sorry, it's color number one. But I got one from the website, and then number one B30, because I wanted a little bit head of color just to see what it would look like. And the look that I did with this wig today, and oh, by the way, this wig is absolutely, for someone in transition or a person that's natural, after your big chop and your, like your afro is pretty small and you want to go with something bigger, I think this wig is a must have. It's perfect. It's, it just is so versatile. You can do so many different looks with it. I mean, it's just wonderful. So what I did today was I pretty much, um... I left, because my hair is cone rolled underneath this um, after I washed it, but I left out a little bit of my edges out. I usually do this because I know I wear wigs, so I usually leave this much out and I braid it this way and I braid everything else going back. So I just put the wig on and then I pulled my hair to cover the, um, the wig line. And this wig doesn't have any comb, it just has... It just has two adjustable straps in the back, and I use um, two bobby pins on the sides just to make it feel a little bit more secure. 
because in my opinion, it's not, it doesn't hold up that much. I, I don't think it does. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I'm used to the combs. I like the combs. Give me the combs. If a wig doesn't have combs, I usually sew them in the wig because I always think like, what if it's. What if it's really windy one day and I'm walking out and my wig just flies out the window? By the way, I have someone that I'm subscribed to that made me laugh so hard the other day. When I say I was in front of the computer and I was tearing up, she was, her name is Twinkie. Hi Twinkie. <laughs> I don't know if you watch this, but her name is Twinkie. I know I'm in the middle of a wig review, but I have to talk about this. So she says she's in her car, she's going down the street on the highway, and I guess her window was down, and her wig, oh my god, goes flying out the window in the middle of the highway, and of course she had to keep going without her hair, and she comes in, she's telling everyone, and I mean, it's funny. But it's not funny because I, I, I always, it's like one of my greatest fears. Like when I'm going that, I usually when I'm wearing a wig and I usually, and lately I wear a lot of wigs because of my natural hair state transition thing going on. I always put my window up. I'd rather just use the AC because I always get scared that my wig is going to fly out the window. And for her to say that actually happened to her confirmed to me that I need <laughs> to keep my window up. But girl, you're funny. Anyhow, back to this wig thing. Yeah, so this is Modu. This way, the name of the collection is called Modu. It's by, I'm um, sorry. Modu and the wig called the wig name is Afro. It was nineteen ninety nine, and you can pick it up if you like at HouseOfBeauty.com for that price. And there's no comb in this. It's just um, two adjustable straps in the back. And back to you know the reason why I don't like I like my combs because I need my wig to be secure. And if you are going natural, if you want to see what your hair would look like with natu with with the natural texture. Um, I mean, for any reason whatsoever, this is, I think it's a great, it's a great style, it's funky, it's hot, it's just nice. I like the fact that, I don't know, it's synthetic, so I can't really put any hot combs to it, which I wasn't planning on doing anyway. And I feel that it mimics African American Afro hair, whatever you want to call it, perfectly. I mean, it's, it's perfect. This is what someone, you know, would natural hair usually looks like. I mean, it may be, some hair may be tight curls, some hair may be a little bit more coily, but it's pretty much the basic, this is what it looks like. And I'm loving this hair. I have came up with this little style where I put my little, um, I have these combs that I purchased from the beauty supply store, and I put one on each side to pull it up. And when I take my curls out, I'm going to try a different style with headbands. You can put a headband in the front and push it all back. You can actually even braid the front and wear the wig in the back and connect it with like a scarf or something. That would be cute. I mean, I have so much different styles in my head that I want to try with this hair and I'm going to try with this hair. I'm so excited that I found this wig. And the reason also I'm really excited is because when my hair actually becomes natural, when I'm actually natural all the way, I'm already getting to practice with this wig so that when I actually go to my transition and my do my big chop and my hair is in this length, I know exactly what to do because I'm used to it. Of course, the textures will not be the same, or it may not be the same length, but I'm overall used to the idea. All right, you guys, I will post a few pictures of what this wig looked like at the end of this video. I don't have much time, so I have to go. You guys have a blessed, 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 wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys later, and thanks for watching.